Hi, I'm Ron Bateman, the Sheriff of Anne Arundel County. Welcome to your Anne Arundel's Most Wanted program, a program where we showcase wanted criminals, highlight open cases, and look to you for tips. You, concerned citizens, that share my same goal, and that's keeping our community safe. You'd be proud to know that your calls have allowed us to put handcuffs on thousands of criminals. So sit back, set your DVR, or grab a pen and paper, and help do your part in catching criminals. You're watching Anne Arundel's Most Wanted. And now for another regular guest on our show, Justin Mall Cahey from the Anne Arundel County Police Department. Welcome back to the show, my brother. Sheriff, my pleasure. Happy New Year. Same and to you. Who did you bring for us? Three individuals we need to talk about this Let's week. Let's lock them up. Let's do it. The uh, the theme this week's a little bit different. We had sort of a burglary theme, but we're going to stick with that a bit. We also have an armed robbery theme as well. First person we're going to talk about is Dewan Leroy Carter. Uh, he's five feet nine inches tall, 140 pounds, a 22 year old black male. Now, Carter has a last known address of 1763 Mead Village Circle in Severn. Uh, he's known to frequent that area. Now, he's got a warrant for first-degree burglary for an incident on October 10th where the victims reported returning to their apartment in that particular area in Severn where they noticed that their door was pried open and there was a flat screen TV taken during that incident. Follow-up investigation about a month later led to some evidence being recovered linking Carter to that incident. He's got no registered vehicles. Uh, that we're aware of, but uh, we are certainly looking for Mr. Carter at this time for that first degree burglary. Now, as we continue the theme of burglaries, we'll move on to Stacy Leah Johnson, a white female, five feet, five inches tall, 130 pounds. She's 26 years old. Last known address for Johnson is 1043 Doxer Drive. That's in Crownsville, Maryland. She has a warrant that's active for first degree burglary, no registered vehicles, and obviously pay attention to uh, her face on the screen. If you recognize her, contact that number. Final person we're going to talk about is Richard Franklin Monzuski. He's a 27 year old white male. Last known address for Monzuski, 4 4th Avenue. That's in Brooklyn, Maryland, 21225. Uh, three warrants. A violent individual here, uh, warrant for armed robbery and also violation of probation, no registered vehicles for Monzuski. So uh, let's get that individual as well. Great. Folks, you know the whereabouts of any of those individuals. Call that number, 410-222-1490 or 911, 24 hours a day. Justin, thank you very much. Sure, buddy. thank you. And now for another regular guest on our show, Corporal Amy Meegeth from the Annapolis Police Department. Welcome back to the show, Amy. Thank you, Sheriff. Happy New Year. And who did you bring for us? I've got three today. The first one is Hozu Hernandez Ayala. He also goes by Mike. His date of birth is March 16th of 1982. He's a Hispanic male, five foot six inches tall, weighing 160 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. He does have a scar near his right eye. His last known address is 2 Bryson Street, apartment 104 in Annapolis. He has one warrant for assault, second degree. This stems from when an adult female victim reported to us on Sunday, December 7th, that she was waiting for her son in her car when his father, Hernandez Ayala, entered the car. He seemed intoxicated and began to yell, who is your boyfriend, you are unfaithful. Then he took her cell phone and began to punch her in the head, arm, and body. She blocked his punches, but he continued. A woman passing by the car saw Hernandez Ayala punching the victim and called for the police. When officers arrived, they told the suspect to stay away from the victim. And then on December 8th, Hernandez Ayala went to the victim's home. He knocked on the door, asked her to let him in. She didn't let him in, and he continued to knock for a few hours before he left. The victim had bruises from Hernandez Ayala hitting her, and this warrant was issued for his arrest. The second subject we have is Franklin Isaac Morea. His date of birth is June 3rd, 1993. He's a Hispanic male, five foot eight inches tall, weighing 170 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. He has a pierced left earlobe, a tattoo of lips on his neck, and a tattoo on his left arm that says Marita. His last known address is 224 North Pindell Avenue in Annapolis, and he has one warrant for robbery, second degree assault, and theft less than $1,000. On June 3rd, 
On November 30th, officers responded to Pendell Avenue for a report of an assault and robbery, and they met with the adult male victim who reported that he went out with some friends, including Maria, to Washington, D.C. for a night of partying. Upon returning to Annapolis, Maria asked the victim to exit the vehicle that they were riding in to have a conversation. And once outside the vehicle, the victim was punched and kicked, but he was unable to identify who his assailants were. The victim became angry and called out for Maria. Then Maria took a swing at the victim and missed. Four suspects, one being Maria, struck the victim with their hands and feet. After the assault, the victim discovered that his black wallet, an iPhone, and his ignition key were gone from his front pants pockets. The victim believes these items fell onto the ground during the altercation and were taken by the suspects. The victim was injured, but he refused medical treatment. He sustained an abrasion on the left side of his face, and he complained of left hand and right shoulder pain. And the third subject we have is Adolfo Antonio Serrano, also goes by Aspero. His date of birth is March 2nd, 1962. He's a Hispanic male, five foot eight inches tall, weighing 165 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. His last known address is 1282 Graff Court, apartment B in Annapolis. He has two warrants, one for second degree assault and one that's a failure to appear for driving without a license. In reference to the first warrant, an officer responded to Anne Arundel Medical Center for a report of a domestic assault. They spoke to an adult female victim who reported that on October 11th at 2.30 a.m., Serrano came to her home. When Serrano arrived, he knocked on the bedroom door, which was locked. The victim opened the door, and Serrano grabbed her by the throat with his right hand. He strangled the victim for approximately 10 seconds using only one hand while pinning her against the wall. Serrano told her he was going to kill her as he was holding her by the throat. He then punched her with a closed fist several times in the face. Remember, folks, you know the whereabouts of any of those individuals. Do not approach them. Instead, call that number on the screen, 410-222-1490 or 911, 24 hours a day. We'll make sure we have someone come out and check out your lead. Keep those calls coming in, folks. They're definitely paying off. Amy, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. And now for those subjects wanted by the Anne Arundel County Sheriff's Office. Let's see, our first subject, that is going to be Michael Wayne Patterson. This subject is wanted for failing to register as a sex offender. On May the 15th, 2008, Michael Wayne Patterson was convicted of a fourth degree sex offense in Anne Arundel County. He initially registered on January 31st of 2011. Michael Wayne Patterson is classified as a Tier 1 offender on the Maryland Registry and is required to register for a period of 15 years. On October 28, 2014, Patterson last registered in person at the Anne Arundel County Detention Center while he was incarcerated there. That's nice. Patterson was due to re-register within three days of his release from any period of imprisonment to remain in compliance with the Maryland Sex Offender Register laws. The detention center even had Patterson sign a Notice of Sexual Offender Registry Requirements form prior to his release. The form outlined the requirements to re-register upon release from incarceration. No excuses there. You can probably guess where we're going with this one. Michael Wayne Patterson failed to register with the Anne Arundel County Police Department, the Baltimore City Police Department, or any other jurisdiction since his release from the detention center. Patterson has repeated registry violation convictions in 2012, 13, and 14. Today, we need your help rounding this one up and getting him off the street. We are looking for Michael Wayne Patterson, who is a 54-year-old white male, with the date of birth of February 1st, 1960. He's 5 foot 10 inches tall, weighs 180 pounds, has brown hair and green eyes, and his last known address is 514 Crane Highway in Glen Burnie. He also has used 4105 Grace Court in Baltimore City. Let's see our next subject. It's going to be Sean Michael McLean. This subject is one of the multiple counts of assault and malicious destruction of property charges. On May the 11th, 2014, county police responded to Watch House Circle for a domestic violence call. When the officers arrived, they met with the victim and learned that she had been physically assaulted by her ex-boyfriend, Sean Michael McLean. The female stated the two were involved in a heated argument, during which time McLean grabbed her in a bear hug, threw her on the bed, and started strangling her. 
He released his grip from the victim's neck and started to kick the television stand, causing it to shatter. As McLean walked away towards the bedroom door, he pushed the victim's four-year-old son into the door. Now there's a tough guy. He continued walking down the hallway and then pushed the female's 16-year-old son. Mm, mm, mm. We are looking for Sean Michael McLean, who's a 33-year-old black male with a date of birth of August 25th, 1981. He's six foot one inches tall, weighs 220 pounds, has black hair and brown eyes, and his last known address is 1816 Goldsboro Lane in Odenton. Next subject, that's going to be Stephen Charles Shirk Sr. This subject is wanted for threat of arson. On November 2nd of 2014, county police responded to an address on Brookfield Road for a family violence call. Upon arrival, the officers spoke with the female homeowner. She advised her son, Stephen Shirk Sr., had been doing things she did not like and she wanted him out. The two had been arguing throughout the morning and he had threatened her and her mother. The female informed the officer that Stephen stated he was going to light the house on fire once they left. The grandmother confirmed hearing Stephen threaten his mother and the family with violence, saying he was going to, quote, cut everyone, end of quote, in the house and then destroy the home. We are looking for Stephen Charles Shirk Sr., who's a 38-year-old white male, date of birth of February the 1st, 1976. He's 5 foot 9 inches tall, weighs 165 pounds, has brown hair and brown eyes. His last known address is 200 Brookfield Road in Pasadena. Now our next subject, mm -hmm. I know who that is, that's Carlos Maurice Pierman. Pierman failed to appear for court on November 1st, 2013 for his prior driving motor vehicle without required license charge. He picked up a new bench warrant for that. He also has a second warrant for assault, reckless endangerment, and malicious destruction of property. Here's the backstory. On September 10th of 2014, county police responded to 8,000 block of Sally Road in Glen Burnie for a report of a man with a gun and another with a knife. After a bit of research, officers learned that there was a dispute between two men over a lawn mowing contract and service that had not been paid for. Apparently, workers from the lawn company had driven to Pierman's home to confront him about the matter. During their contact, Pierman allegedly disputed how much was owed and the victim in this case decided he would take Pierman to court. Okay, well, as the victim got into his vehicle, Pierman stated to another occupant of that truck, quote, if your boy don't move, I'm going to kill you, end of quote. Pierman then pulled an orange-colored pocket knife from his shorts and attempted to stab the person in the passenger seat. Nope, not kidding. The knife blade struck the passenger side seat, causing damage. Unreal. We are looking for Carlos Maurice Pierman was a 41-year-old black male with a date of birth of April the 8th, 1973. He's six feet tall, weighs 190 pounds, and has black hair and brown eyes. His last known address is 8037 Sally Road in Glen Burnie. Now our next subject. That's going to be Dion Akeem Matthews. Matthews failed to appear for court on December 19th, 2014 for his prior CDS possession with intent to distribute charge. He picked up a new bench warrant for that. He also has four open warrants in Annapolis City. That's right, four. Today we are looking for Dion Akeem Matthews, who's a 23-year-old black male with a date of birth, August 26, 1991. He's five foot nine inches tall, weighs 125 pounds, and has black hair and brown eyes. His last known address is 707 Newtown Road in Annapolis. Now our next subject. That is going to be Preston. Rashad Ruffin. Ruffin violated the terms of his probation on his prior assault charge and picked up a new bench warrant. Let's get into the details. He failed to report as directed, yeah, that's a problem, failed to provide verification of domestic violence treatment, yeah, the initial charge was for assault, and was similarly violated on a companion case out of Baltimore City for a prior DWI, which is just not smart, sorry. A new bench warrant rolled out from Baltimore City District Court for that infraction. So we are looking for Preston Rashad Ruffin, who's a 32-year-old black male with a date of birth of all April 23rd, 1982. He's 5 foot 11 inches tall, weighs 200 pounds, has black hair and brown eyes. His last known address is 1900 Gale Town Drive in Severn. Now, here are our three most wanted deadbeats. 
This information is provided to us by our hardworking friends at the Anne Arundel County Office of Child Support. So our first DB, Brian D. Smith. You are not going to believe this number, folks. Brian, you have reached all-time history on this channel. He is $170,616.48 in arrears for paying child support. Unbelievable. Smith is a 52-year-old white male with the date of birth of August 10th, 1962. He's 5'11 inches tall, weighs 195 pounds, has brown hair and blue eyes. And his last known address is 18935 Quiet Oak Lane in Germantown. Next we have John Sank. He is $33,381.90 in arrears paying child support. That almost sounds like a small amount compared to the previous guy. Sank is a 49-year-old white male with the date of birth of September the 11th, 1965. He's 5 foot 9 inches tall, weighs 200 pounds, and has brown hair and green eyes. His last known address is 1121 South Road in Pasadena. Next, that's going to be Christopher Pirette. He is $21,899.93 in arrears with paying child support. Pirette is a 46-year-old white male with the date of birth of March 23, 1968. Six foot one inches tall, weighs 170 pounds, has brown hair and green eyes. His last known address is 11617 Clock Tower Lane in Laurel. Now, folks, I'll remind you, if you know the whereabouts of any of these individuals, do not approach them. Instead, call that number, you know it, 410-222-1490 or 911 24 hours a day. Keep those calls coming in, folks. They're definitely paying off. Now, I want to thank a few people allowed to show it happen every single month. First, our new county executive, Stephen Shu. I want to thank also the guy behind the camera that puts this all together, Mr. Dale Boyer. From my office, who puts the, 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 the entire show together and gives it all to Dale, Lieutenant Jennifer Gilbert Duran. Also, I want to thank our chiefs of police from Anne Arundel County, Tim Altamari, from Annapolis City, Mike Pristoop, and from the superintendent of the Maryland State Police, Marcus Brown. Remember, folks, I'm Sheriff Ron Bateman. Let's keep Anne Arundel County safe. We'll see you next time on Anne Arundel's Most Wanted.